It's going to make it fun.
Please be careful.
Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I wanted to mention a couple of things here at the very end that I feel like are going to be questions everybody's going to have. I wanted to start out by saying this generator enclosure that I've built, uh, it's not quite finished, and it is a series of experiments that I wanted to run myself, see how they go. So there might be a few things that you saw that you wondered what in the world I was doing. So, um, I, my goal was to build something that was mostly out of the trees and so on that are already here. Also, uh, limiting it to a lot of the material that I had left over from the house build. Wanted to build this very cheaply. And I did a fairly good job of that, I believe. You'll notice that I used some timber framing techniques. Uh, I don't have all the tools that would make it look very slick and easy. Um, you might have noticed that. I used a lot of axe work. And it was great. I learned a lot. So it achieved that purpose. My hope was to get a little bit of an education there. And I think, I, I think it worked out. Um, I used a lot of very long screw fasteners. Uh, you probably noticed those. Uh, those were all leftovers from the house build and I was glad that I had them. Though it might seem a little bit uh, odd to use them in conjunction with timber framing joints. Also the rebar, you might have noticed that. Uh, that might have been odd too, but again it was the same thing. Uh, most, in most timber framing cases I would have been using wooden pegs, but I had this rebar and I wanted to use it somewhere, so I thought I would give it a try here to see how it worked. You probably also noticed that I've used green wood for the most part and uh, I've left the bark on. Uh, that's not usually a good technique uh, from a lot of the resources that I've read, but I want to see how it works with the alder. I, in a lot of cases here, within a year, the alder, after it's been cut, will shed its own bark and I just wanted to see if that would happen in this situation with the wood standing up. All in the sake of my curiosity. Uh, also knowing that I didn't put a lot of money into this and it's a great education for me. I do odd things like that I guess. You probably noticed that I have this clear vinyl uh, roofing. That was a product of my own curiosity. Uh, I bought the less expensive stuff and uh, I don't really like it. I will Next time if I'm buying this sort of a thing I'll spend that few like five dollars a sheet more to get the more expensive stuff. This is just too light duty. It doesn't cut very well. But it was all an experiment for me again for the future. I might be using clear material like that for various other projects around. So I wanted to give it a try. All in all, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. It looks a lot cleaner and neater than what we had before, which was the reason why I replaced the old one. I'm hoping it'll last a few more years, and if not, it's again an experiment and, uh, and an educational experience for me. This has been a fun thing. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for taking this journey with me on Simple Ground.